quaking in the minds of us who that this was the year. Terrible anti-Semitism in this case. Dreyfus was a young uh, Jewish army captain who was wrongly accused of murder. And uh, in this uh, court case, the anti-Semitism was so rife that there was absolute riots in the streets of Paris and in France. And people were literally running through the streets and were coming into the Jezreel Valley over here and the airport in the northern part of Jordan, the area of Moab, which is more or less opposite the area of the Dead Mountains of Edom, or where the Edomites uh, came from. See the, the ridge of the mountains uh, over there in the distance. It's not too difficult to be able to see it. And uh, so as we talk about rainfall, we are up over the mountains and down the other side it forms and he looks at the promised land and uh, God tells him, uh, remember that of course Moses is not allowed to enter into the promised land. All their problems and all their mumblings and grumblings and everything else. But he made one mistake because God said to him, talk to the rock. And of course Moses was so upset he struck the rock. And in striking the rock he misrepresented God and so his punishment was not to come in to the promised land. And he looks at the promised land and he sees it and of course God says the land that the children of Israel will come in to inherit is the land where you will receive the rain from the heaven or the water from the heaven and so uh, the actual word for heaven in Hebrew is Shemaim I saw that you have Maim on your list of things to learn on your Hebrew so Maim means water Sham is means there and so it simply means that you will get the water from the heaven but the word in Hebrew Shemaim heaven is from where the water comes from so literally from now on you will be totally dependent on my grace from heaven from where the water comes from not from where you came from which was obviously Egypt where you watered your field with your heel what you used to do was you literally put your heel into the dirt when the Nile would flood and the water would run into the little channel and of course um, you would then be able to have your ear did like with a bicycle movement and the water would come up from the area of the Nile so no you don't have the luxury of a great river that will sustain you now from now on you will be totally linked two superpowers of ancient times, which was Egypt in the south and the area of Mesopotamia and Babylonia in the north, one six, one percent. So now water, how we have the Sea of Galilee just more or less parallel with the area of Caesarea here on the Mediterranean and uh, very shortly we'll turn we'll of Mount Carmel is just one long mountain that starts here and ends up at the uh, city of Haifa to the north and the aqueduct starts there at the southern end and because you can see this uh, village here on the uh, left is built actually on past the rock and uh, down south into the city of uh, Caesarea so they actually carved a huge tunnel through that rock and you can now walk through it see the aqueduct all the way through the tunnel see here you know, to help uh, open up the concentration camps and yet uh, those uh, many of the Jews that managed to you know, get away and, and wanted to come here to Palestine as it then was under the British mandate uh, they, they came in these results anything to try to get them off uh, if they kept their detention camps here in Palestine then the barbed wire German Shepherd Dogs patrolling. So this was not the main route that went through the Megiddo Pass, but almost as important.
not far from the area of Caesarea, uh, it was famous for its oak forests. If you read the diaries of Richard the Lionheart, he talks about hiding his crusader knights in the oak forests in that area near Caesarea. And of course, when you see it today, there's nothing, it's sand dunes. We have one little nature reserve with two ancient oak trees there because the Turks did such a good job of cutting down trees. Um, and they were cutting them down simply because if you had trees on your property, you paid more tax. I mean, the, the law was that you paid tax on your property according to the number of trees on your property. Also planted trees wherever possible on the uh, hillsides and so on. And in the beginning, the main tree that was uh, planted was the Jerusalem pine. An example of that is up on the left-hand side. It's actually technically the Aleppo pine. In the, you put it back into its Latin name, nicknamed the Jerusalem pine. Uh, they didn't go back to the city of Yokniam. In the Bible, in the English Bible, you would see it written as Yokniam. The, the Yok sound in Hebrew, Yokniam becomes replaced with a J. Right where you come out of the mountain pass and into the area of the to spray the area uh, because of these fires. Well, of course, um, we now plant all different types of trees according to what grew in certain areas uh, that we can see written in the Bible. Uh, look back up on the left hand side on the top of um, um, behind you of Mount Carmel up there where the building is being placed which is like the highest spot of uh, Mount Carmel is where we believe that Elijah challenges the prophets of Baal mm. and uh, remember there's been three and a half uh, years of um, drought. Elijah is uh, blamed for it, but uh, of course uh, okay, we're going we're gonna go slow so that you see the Kishon. It's gonna be like right just past this yellow sign on the right. You see it? This is it. That for us is a river. Okay, that's the Kishon. We're in the Jezreel Valley and you can see, I mean, this area, this whole Jezreel Valley was nothing but swamps. Drained in the 1920s and now it's become literally the breadbasket of the uh, country. And one of the main crop crops that grows here is wheat. And uh, two weeks ago when we came here, you couldn't see the wheat had not come up yet. Now you can begin to see it. It's beginning to grow. That's thanks to the rainfall that we had uh, just um, the last uh, few days. And so that's the importance of it. Wheat, we only grow wheat in the winter. There is no summer wheat because we can't irrigate that kind of uh, crop during the summertime. We need too much water. So it tells us in the Bible to pray for the rain in its season, the former rain. That is the rain that starts September, October. September, we had it this year, it's very early. October, usually around the time of the Feast of the Tabernacles, that will soften up the earth so that you could put the first the, the wheat in, sow it, and, and so that you are ready to harvest it between the feasts of Passover and Shavuot. All the wheat has to be in the storerooms by the Feast of Shavuot, uh, or what is remembered also as the Pentecost, and then you would bring it to the temple. The Jewish feasts go according to the harvest. This country, who is Jewish, serves in the Israel Defense Forces. It is uh, compulsory, and you serve from the age of your guy, from the age of 18 until you're 21. And if you're a girl, from 18 to 20. So it's three years for boys, and just under two years for girls. The guys then will continue to do reserve duty uh, in the infantry uh, units and so on. I mean, you go up to the age of 41. It's been, uh, and most often the 30 days are, are together, you know, a whole month of uh, reserve duty. You go back to your unit and it goes according to your medical background. And um, so the highest medical profile you could have is 97% could never have a hundred percent if you're a guy because you've been circumcised. Okay, so it's considered 97 percent. Now, if you want to be a pilot, you're fortunate enough to actually get you a pilot's um, course. And 
so you would automatically have to sign on for six years and you're not going to become a pilot and then leave the army or the air force you know it will be that you will be um, signing on for six years the same with the navy uh, and other units depending um, you know if you take that into account of course if you decide if you're good enough material to become an officer you automatically will sign on an extra year so your army service will be four years instead of three years and today within our minority groups the uh, Druze boys will talk about Druze they do compulsory military volunteer and uh, so it is uh, something that everybody does <laughs>